Hello everyone, this is Stéphane Bedard, NPS representative for Nikon Canada. And we're here in beautiful Nova Scotia at Peggy's Cove to show you how to do time-lapse photography. So what is time-lapse photography? Time-lapse photography is a sequence of pictures taken at specific intervals that are then assembled and played back as a video at a faster frame rate. So there are two ways you can achieve this. First, the traditional way where you can use an intervalometer, which is built in the camera, or using an optional accessory. The problem with this is you have to transfer all your images back in the computer, resize those images, and then use a third-party program to actually render the movie. And all this post-processing can be really daunting. Or the second way is to use the built-in time-lapse photography function, which is in cameras like the D610, D800, and D4S. So you can achieve the same result, but in a much easier and quicker way, because all the post-processing is done for you in camera. Now we've got a setup over there, and we're going to walk over there, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the camera. Follow me. First of all, let me give you a few tips. You want a sturdy tripod. For example, it's really windy here, so you don't want the camera movement while you're exposing. Also, be sure to use manual focus, because you can pre-focus if you want, but then be sure to switch to manual focus, as the camera could try to refocus every time it takes a shot. Also, be sure to use either the manual exposure mode or the aperture priority mode, because the aperture is the only fixed variable here. Now, let's go to the menus and show you how to set up. First, go into your shooting menu, and choose your movie settings, as those settings will be used to actually render the final movie. We're going to choose 1080p at 30 frames per second. Then go into your time-lapse photography option and choose your interval. For this assemble, we're going to use 5 seconds. And then choose for how long you're going to shoot. We're going to shoot for 45 minutes. You can see that with those settings, the final movie will be 18.1 seconds. And then, as soon as you press start, the camera will start shooting. And that's it. All you have to do now is come back, press the play button, and your time-lapse movie will be there for you. So I hope this helped you, and come back for more tips. And don't forget, stay focused and be sharp.